percent off the store looks beautiful you guys what's it called oh dotty i think someone recommended this store to me to be honest ah. mm, old school building target let's go Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Um, I guess I just kind of want to check in with you guys because I'm leaving for Canada in like a, a sorry, my hair is a wreck, I know. I, this literally is bedhead and my roots are going in quite a lot. I have to do them, but I think I'll do them in Canada because there's so much more selection for L'Oreal like hair colors and hair colors in general in Canada. So I've been like waiting out for that and then I'm going to do like a um, dark gradation blend so that my roots can grow out nicely but yeah anyway today i went to target on chapel street because um i wanted to pick up some new bedding like some reverse bedding for our apartment just because I, i've never really liked the stuff that kyle chose it just doesn't really go with the theme of our apartment so i figured it would also be nice to have a, a like backup pair of linen bed linen as well because like that's like an essential for the house and stuff like that so i picked up stuff like that and then I also needed to get a new drying rack for our laundry because I accidentally broke ours last night I was trying to like pull it in off the balcony from drying and like it got stuck on the ledge and then the like snapped off which is weird because it's metal and I was just like okay great so picked up a new drying rack as well and then today I'm literally just um kind of preparing to leave because tomorrow is going to be the last day where I don't have anything to do other than like regular work and then after that is my last day and then i have an event to go to with ken for bys cosmetics here in australia so i'm really excited for that because i haven't seen ken in like two months i feel like just because scheduling and stuff and life's been a bit hectic with um auckland and then now canada and the in-between just doesn't seem like enough time you know so i'm really excited to see ken and then literally early in the a.m like at 4 a.m i have to wake up and go to the airport the next day and fly to canada and if anyone's wondering that takes like 20 hours of travel time from melbourne to get to toronto so it's gonna be like i'm gonna be mia for a few days after i guarantee so yeah i'm just gonna be kind of preparing for that so that i'm not like in a rush and everything so i want to kind of organize my stuff pack up everything and figure out what I need to bring to Canada and what I don't need to bring and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, you guys. So I think at the end of the vlog, I'm going to show you guys a bit of what I tend to pack in my suitcase when I travel. Um, but I am going to be traveling as light as I possibly can this time around. Anyway, last night, Kyle and I had our first date night in like two years, I feel like. So we went and wanted to do like some fine dining and we went to a place called rock pool in the casino like crown casino and it was so nice you guys the food was amazingly good but it was so expensive it was like 150 dollar uh, meal for the two of us but it was really nice that was kind of like our anniversary and birthday all collabed into one and then after after dinner we Oh my god, you guys. So here I am trying to like explain my beautiful date night and the washing machine <laughs> starts flying everywhere. Why? I guess it like over time it just went off balance and it start didn't have like a grip on the ground. That was scary. Why do I always have this bad luck with like washing machines and stuff? Everything. I swear to god, whenever something goes wrong, it's always 
to me and nothing ever happens like nothing bad ever happens to Kyle but if it's me everything's gonna go wrong so anyway after our wonderful romantic dinner on that note we went to the louis bar louis bar cafe oh, not cafe oh my god see now my mind's a mess we went to louis bar which is like a really fancy lounge where you can see the whole skyline of melbourne and um he's been wanting to take me there for like months but we just didn't have like the the appropriate time to do it so we finally did it together and it was really nice and overall it was like an amazing night so um yeah it was just beautiful so that was the scenery that i showed you guys so amazing then we just came home and watched some episodes of tv shows like game of thrones and then went to bed so it was really really nice but um yeah anyway for the rest of today i'm going to show you guys what i'm packing to go i need to shower and these roots like i haven't seen them in camera yet and they're just atrocious i'm sorry but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing for the rest of today and getting some work done so let's go do that now so i'm pretty much done packing because realistically I'm not really planning on bringing a lot to Canada other than stuff I want to bring home and leave at home. So I'm bringing my old MacBook because I just don't use it anymore. It's too slow to use Photoshop or anything other than email. So I'm just going to bring that home and leave it there. Then I'm also bringing my old Nikon DSLR camera and all the lenses that go with it because in Japan I bought that Lumix GH4 so I use that now instead. I'm also going to bring my one bottle of Bondi Sands tan so that I can tan when I'm at home and then a pair of running shorts because I want to run while I'm at home as well because I know I'm going to be a bit bored. I'm going to be there for a month <laughs> and then I'm also bringing the wonderful picture books that Emily and Taylor and Sharla made for me as my going away present because um, I just want to make sure they're safe and at home. Then I also have these Sailor Moon postcards that I bought from the Sailor Moon exhibition 20th anniversary exhibition that was in Tokyo when I first arrived to Japan. I bought so many of these. They're, they're just stunning. Just like all the artwork, like some of the original artwork on there. Art, art, how did I say that? Yeah, it's just artwork. It's pretty. And then I'm also bringing like random clothes. So below here I have the Liz Lisa um, parka jacket that I know for a fact I won't be wearing here because like winter is already in the middle and it's getting warmer and it's just not cold enough here for heavy winter jackets. So it's kind of redundant or pointless to have it. And then I'm also bringing the vitamin tree mask from I'm From as well as the vitamin tree water gel because I want to review them in September. So I'm going to bring those along as well. And then I have my heated blanket from Japan that I had on my bed because it doesn't work here. And I accidentally popped the converter I have, like I blew it by accident so I can't use it here. And it's not cold enough either, like you don't need it here. And then here I have all my Pokemon cards I collected in Japan as well. I'm going to bring those home. And then just like random clothes. So this, this shirt and this shirt and a Liz Lisa skirt I never wear. But I want to keep it just in case I want to wear it. So I figured I'd bring that back. And if I don't wear it, I don't know, maybe my sister will. And then a hat I got in Japan that I don't really like that much. And I know I won't use here. Because once again, not cold enough. And then I think I'm going to bring this little card again as well. And then this shirt, just some summer clothes. And then I figured I'd bring more clothes I don't wear. So I have this really long um, jean dress shirt type thing and I never wear it. So I figured I'd bring that home as well. And then just a couple pair of shorts because I can't remember what shorts I have at home. And I feel like I brought my only shorts with me while I traveled. So I'm bringing those two. And then this flowy thing. Cardigan? What do you even call this? I'm bringing that because it's nice and light and good for summer. And once again, like when I moved to Japan, I'm pretty sure I did a huge closet wardrobe purge at home. And I just gave all my stuff to donation. So I have no, I actually have no idea what kind of clothes I have at home. Then I'm bringing this shirt as well. Because like I'm going to be there for just over a month. So I'm not too sure if like... There'll be any events with my friends and my sister and just in case they want to go out i don't know should i bring this like i'm a really indecisive person which is why i'm having a hard time doing a proper like what i pack with me because i usually like change my mind last minute like a million times it's so, like i'm not even sure if i'll bring this shirt like i want to but like i have no idea if i'll wear it and 
yeah, I don't know. And then I know for a fact I brought majority of my jeans with me to Japan and here to Australia from Canada. So I'm going to bring these distressed jeans from H&M that I love because it is going to be summer but also turning end of summer fall when I go to Canada. So I'm not too sure how cold it's going to get. So I figured just bringing one pair of loose fitted ripped jeans will be good for transition weather. And then for makeup, I'm figuring this is what I'll bring. But then again, I think it might change. So I'm not too sure just yet what like what tutorials I want to film while I'm in Canada and then I know I still have some makeup in Canada as well but I'm bringing this new BYS exposed palette because I haven't tried it yet and I want to film a whole tutorial using that palette and then I haven't tried the Scylla sponge by BYS yet and I want to do a video on that as well and yeah just my usual go-to makeup is in there as well and some travel sizes of cleansing oil and toning shampoo stuff that I know I don't have in Canada and then just a couple of makeup brushes because I know in Canada I have like half my makeup brush collection and then some liquid lipsticks that I'm loving lately like the Kylie Jenner ones and yeah that's pretty much it so that's it you guys that's everything I'm going to be bringing with me to Canada and if anything changes it's going to be like one thing or something taken out but that's the general idea of what I have for my packing and I'm also just trying to like organize my closet so it's not as chaotic so when I come back it's going to be a little under control but um yeah not not bringing too much it's kind of like a half moving half not kind of pack so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna end the vlog here today because I think I'm just gonna honestly be sitting here staring at my luggage contemplating things and then trying to edit vlogs for you guys as well in videos which I'm doing now I'm just waiting for one to export and yeah I think it's gonna be a, a busy next few days so I'm not too sure if you guys will see me till after I'm back in Canada just because yeah tomorrow's just honestly prepping the apartment and making sure I have everything figured out and then the event with um Ken and then I leave at the early a.m. that day so I don't I honestly don't think I'll have time to vlog again after that other than if I do vlog the event well yeah I probably will vlog the event but you guys probably won't see it till I'm back in Canada if that makes sense so yeah Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you enjoyed seeing mine and Kyle's little a little snippet of our, our date. It was really nice. And some cool scenes of Melbourne. Remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below and of course subscribe if you're not already to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to see my daily life. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.